Kicks 105.5 back now with a very special guest. It's <laughs> Mike Barrett of Barrett Insurance. I don't Good know morning. how special I would want to call myself. But I thank think, you. I think once a week you're a very special well, guest. I, I, I mean, it's like is... Robin. It's like Robin Williams making an appearance in Cheers. You know, I mean, you wouldn't put him under. <laughs> I'm not those... a regular character. Exactly. Yeah. You wouldn't put him under. You know, so a special guest appearance. A special guest appearance. Well, that by makes sense. I like Mike that. Barrett. Barrett Insurance. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, uh, so something really big happened over the weekend, and I don't know if you heard about it, but there was a huge earthquake over in California. Uh huh. And I know it could never really happen here. Ah, I love the way you say that. Love but, the way you say that. But I, 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 on the off chance and maybe just maybe that, you know, some tectonic plates <laughs> might shift and the Green Mountains, <laughs> they don't protect us as nearly as they're supposed to. And my house home gets completely destroyed by an earthquake mm. in downtown St. Johnsbury. So interestingly enough. Okay. I'm if, just... if you don't have a... Sp- specific specific earthquake endorsement on your homeowner policy you don't have coverage um and if you don't have a separate policy because there are single line like monoline policies for earthquake that can be offered if you don't have one of those no coverage so if you have an earthquake and and, and you don't have either of those and your house sustains damage it's going to be all out of pocket for you which is scary moral of the story is is if there are specific natural disasters <laughs> that are never going to happen in Vermont. Right. Maybe just maybe on that off chance if right. you're financially stable enough. Well, to and do never this, say never too. I mean, here's the That's here, true. here's yes. the rule that I go there's th- there's two ways I, that I, I look at I this. I have I have felt an earthquake in my lifetime here in I've Vermont. I've had a couple. We've had a couple, but there's a couple ways to look at this. For flood insurance, okay. You you can recognize pretty easily if you're near a body of water that's true. or if you're in an area that's historically prone to flood. That's pretty easy to determine. It's also pretty easy to determine if a, a hurricane or a tornado is coming through that, you know... Don't have a lot of those. <laughs> no, but I mean, if those types of things happen, it's pretty easy to see that you know, the forecasting tells okay, you. Absolutely. Not a lot of forecasting for earthquakes, you know, no. so it's not a lot of uh, foreknowledge. But how likely is it if you go in and buy a homeowner's insurance policy today, how, how much of a likelihood do you think it is that your house will burn to the ground? You're I, hoping for zero, right? I, you hope for, I'd say, 9%. In the, in the lifetime of that house, 9%. But, but we're hoping for zero. We're hoping for zero, right. but I, we're I also say hoping 9% for zero is a pretty safe chance. But if we're, if we're hoping for a 0% or a 9% chance for fire, <laughs> why are you not protecting for earthquake? Okay. That's a that's another way to think about it. And what, what I like to let people know is that earthquake coverage, I have one company in our office. It's a mobile home insurance carrier. So if we're insuring your mobile home uh, with a company, called American Modern Insurance Group, they're pretty unique. They have automatic coverage for earthquake and flood built into their policy. That's the only one in my office that I'm aware of. Everybody else is a separate endorsement. So I don't have to worry it. about saying, hey, Mike, uh, I know that this will never happen in a million years, but can I get earthquake insurance? <laughs> and I don't have to do that because if with, you're with the, them, with them, it, it's, it's just there. automatic. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. But if uh, with a company like who I'm insured with, mm-hmm. uh, I do actually have earthquake insurance because I'm an insurance agent and I have to practice what I preach. My wife still thinks I'm nutso for having it, <laughs> um, which is fine. I, I don't disagree necessarily, but for about $10 to $15 a month, I have coverage if an earthquake damages my house. So for 10 to $15 a month, think how long I would have to pay that to make it be not be worth getting $250,000 if my house sustains major damage. Hey, that's a subscription to Hulu without commercials. So, <laughs> exactly. I mean... <laughs> That's a good way to look in at the, it, too, In sir. the grand scheme of things, I mean, yeah. I, I always look at it, when you say $15 a month, because I, I remember taking a, a peek at my, um, my parents' uh, cable bill, and it was like $200 a month. Uh-huh. And I mean, I can live without... TV yeah. and two hundred and fifty dollars a yeah. month. Remove so, HBO and buy earthquake insurance. Exactly. Yeah. You don't yeah. need to see the latest Game of Thrones. Not only <laughs> was it bad, it's off the air. <laughs> yeah, it's just something I, you know. I think the reason why I thought this was a good topic is, I, you know, of course, I'm a news guy, so I like listening to the, the news. news. I like catching all the details. And statistics are coming out about how many people that were impacted over the weekend by those earthquakes that do not have coverage. Um, Because it's been about 20 years since any significant earthquake Mm -hmm. has struck California. So guess what? Complacency has set in and people are not getting the coverage necessarily that they should have. And because we're in Vermont, 
and we're in an area less prone for hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, for us, it's a lot easier and a lot more affordable to purchase those types of coverages than it would be for somebody in California for earthquake or somebody on the coast for a hurricane or somebody in the Midwest for tornado. Uh, so I, I mean, if I'm living in California, the first thing, the first thing I'm doing is making sure I can afford the earthquake insurance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mike Barrett, Barrett Insurance, great to have you in here. Thanks, how, how can people contact you on yeah. In your offices in Portland Street. Yeah, so we're on Portland Street in St. Johnsbury. You can give us a call, 748-5224. Visit our website, thebarrettagency.com. Google, Facebook, and YouTube is all Barrett Insurance Agency. All right. Hey, thanks so much. And, uh, of course, this little chat we've had here about earthquake insurance, we can, uh, we're can we going to be hearing it up on the YouTube page in just a little bit. YouTube, Facebook, and on our website. On your website. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much for coming in, and uh, try not to get caught in any earthquakes, all right? <laughs> I'll be walking very stably. <laughs> All right, Cheryl Crow now. It's Kix 105.5. Hope you're having a great one. Weather in just a little bit. Your 8 o'clock hour is going to be a jam-packed one, so stick around on Kix 105.5.